what's up guys I just wanted to show a little bit of the crossbar uh, PlayStation 3 operating system to you guys uh, first off I mean this is where you create your username and everything you know enter your username yada 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 enter your uh, address and all that kind of stuff you can put billing information in as well so you don't have to go back and like when you purchase stuff from the PlayStation store which I'll show in a little bit you don't have to put back in your credit card information you can just automatically buy stuff it's kind of like on uh, the operating system for the 360 when adding your Microsoft points you can automatically just add points instead of adding go add your credit card number and all that crap uh, your system update uh, every time an update comes out you can automatically do the system update and uh, get back up to to the newness uh, Blu-ray DVD settings and things like that. You can set them into English. Your subtitles and everything. Conversions, pretty cool. Uh, your music, music settings. You can do import and all that kind of great stuff. Uh, chat settings. Uh, if you have a friend on, you can actually start a, a chat up with them and things like that. If you have a camera plugged in, you can do stuff with that. Uh, system settings, name it, and all that kind of great stuff. There's actually a dictionary on here and everything. It's pretty cool. See, I'm looking at this. This is the install other OS, and I'm hoping, like, once I get another hard drive, that maybe I can install, like, another, you know, Windows or Linux or something like that on there. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then just about PS3 and system information and all that stuff. Set so the date and time. Uh, pretty much just your display settings, security, network settings. You can do. Uh, wireless Wi-Fi if you have it set up in your house uh, you gotta have like a router and all that wireless router of course y'all probably know that but that's pretty much it for the settings when you go into the photos you can check out your uh, I've got an SD card in there right now and these are all your different I mean you can just view them like that view movies and stuff off of it that way uh, there's like little photo albums in there and stuff you can mess around with that it's pretty cool uh, same, you can get music off your SD card and video. And this is like all the games that you have, like as far as demos downloaded from the store. This also has where your CD is. I don't have a game in there right now. Uh, I'll show that later. But you can also, instead of having like an actual PS2 card or a PS1 uh, memory card, you actually create it within the hard drive. And you can name it whatever. And put as much space on it as you want to. I've got 60 gig in here and I can just create new ones over and over and over. Uh, game data utility, this just has my game data from my actual PS3 games so I can go in and actually delete those or, or whatnot. This is the internet browser which I'm about to show you and the PlayStation Store which I'm about to show you. Uh, this is your friends list basically. I don't have many on there right now because I don't know many people that have a PS3 but I mean that's going to change pretty soon. So there's my dude, uh, my quote, die trying. Uh, and then here's the internet browser, show a little bit on that. When you start off, you, I mean you can choose your standard TV if you have a standard TV or an HD TV and it just changes the way the text looks on the screen. So I haven't really messed with the settings on mine so my stuff's like freaking huge. Uh, you can make your own home page and everything. This is automatically the Sony ones. I've got a couple of bookmarks in here. Uh, you list my bookmarks. I've got YouTube on there, PlayStation 3 portal, and one of my forums I always go to. Half-Life Fallout, yeah. And then uh, YouTube. I actually, you can just embed these so you can actually open like different windows in the, on the screen and everything at the same time. Just select between the different windows. I'll go ahead and embed it and then takes you right to it. It's uh, a little bit faster than the Wii, so it's pretty cool. I mean, see, that's already up and running. Runs really good. I need to go in and set the size and everything because it's freaking ginormous. But there's like one of my videos that I made. Pretty cool. Uh, that's my, me and my Wii video. So I can get back out of this. Just by hitting circle and going back out. The PlayStation Store, this is where you download the demos, the extra content, uh, PSP games. Uh, you have your little uh, featured up here. 
So right now, Gran Turismo is like the newest, latest, and greatest thing they have out. Uh, you know, you can get new costumes and things. And uh, some of them are free, some of them charge you, but since you automatically put your credit card in when you set up the system, you can just download it anytime. Uh, go back out. And then download your PSP classic games. There's all kinds of stuff on there. You can view all of them at one time and then just scroll through the different things. Uh, you can make a list of all the games and stuff you want to download and then view the card and download them all at the same time. Uh, then you have like a list. Uh, I haven't done but like one at a time, so I'm not sure how many you can put on the list. But it shows your little username up here at the front. And I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty well put together. It runs good. It runs fast. The downloads are quick. I can usually do 700 megabytes in probably 20-25 minutes. Uh, there's trailers, all kinds of stuff on here, so it's pretty cool. All right, that's the that's the store. That's the network. Remote play. I mean, if you have a PSP, you can actually uh, be playing like a movie or something like that. And they don't have it set up completely right now, but you can actually. Uh, be watching a movie on your PlayStation 3 and then uh, put it over on your PSP, which I mean, I've never, I haven't messed with it. I've just heard that's what you can do with it and all that. Uh, but that's pretty much it for like the crossbar. Uh, I mean, when you're uh, watching a movie on it, it's pretty much just like the PS2. You hit select and it, it shows you a little thing up there and you can like fast forward, rewind, uh, and do like select uh, which part of the video you want to watch and all that kind of good stuff. But Anyway, that's the crossbar. Uh, throw a CD in it real quick, a music CD, and show you what that looks like. Throw some Legion of Boom in there from Crystal Methy. It's not quite as cool as the PS2 one was, or the PS1 where you could actually like mess around with all the stuff. Uh, just sit there and watch it do its thing. I mean, it's okay. I just wish they could have done a lot more with it. I really like the 360s one and wish it could have competed with that, but it's all good. It plays the music. That's all I needed to do. All right, y'all take it easy.